Hello and thank you for joining us on Community Crossroads. I'm Karina Garcia. On today's segment, we'll talk with Lenny Rowena about the latest updates happening at the Victoria Airport. And we also hear from the Quero ISD Education Foundation and we'll feature Mike with the City of Victoria to talk about the affordable housing program here in the city. That in a musical performance by Cat Wolf coming up. We now welcome Lenny Lorena, Executive Director for the Victoria Regional Airport. Lenny, thank you so much for being here today, this morning, and taking the time to talk to us. Well, good morning. Um, you know, as, as you wanted to know a few updates on the airport, I can share with you a couple things here. One of them is um, we're doing a, a land study at the airport, a land development study. Okay. Um, this uh, development is almost finished, not quite there yet, but it has identified three uh, segments of the airport, three main lots where we can develop the airport into the next uh, level and in the future. Um, one, of them is, one of them is in front of the airport, and this is kind of like the easy pickings of construction. Areas where um, there is some gas, there is some water, there is some sewer and electrical, and it can be developed uh, quickly. The second um, stage of this is uh, Lot B, which is also kind of easy to develop. There is some businesses based there already, and there is water, sewer, and electrical, and limited gas. So this particular lot can be uh, developed, or this particular segment can be developed easily. And then um, lot C, which is in the back side of the airport, there is a uh, few constraints with this area. There is only one road that goes back there, and it's not the best road that you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But going in the future, looking at land that needs to be developed in the city, this would be a great almost 400 acres in the backside of the airport. So overall, we're very excited about the possibilities of the airport. You know, it could be a great distribution center, some type of clean manufacturing, and other type of industries. But at the end of the day, the industry that is going to end up in any of these parcels is going to be the first industry that shows up at the airport and knocks on our doors. But um, great things will come out of this uh, particular development of the airport. Um, preliminarily, they did um, an impact study, uh, economic impact study mm -hmm. of the airport, um, and it came out about $34.1 million of economic impact to the community. Um, but one company was omitted by mistake. The numbers are being crunched again to get this company in. This company is significant, has 55 plus employees at the airport. So that number probably is going to go up a little more. And I'm very happy to see those numbers and see the potential of Victoria Regional Airport right. in the community. Um, I wanted to share also about a government study. Right. There is a group of uh, entities in the, in the city and the county that involve the county, the airport, the port of Victoria, uh, the city of, uh, of Victoria um, that wanted to get together and also the Economic Development Corporation mm -hmm. wanted to get together and figure out what the governance of the airport needs to be in the future in order for the airport to progress and get get what it needs to be uh, because you know we've seen the development over the uh, years at the airport and it's been a little slow and we're trying to accelerate that okay. hence the the study and this governance study we want to get this airport to the next level and and one of the most important things that i have already going on at the airport is our airline you know a few people know that or some people don't know the fact that we actually serve with United Airlines or United Express at this point. Okay. So all our flights are through United Express with connects to mainline in Houston Intercontinental. So when you buy a ticket here in, in Victoria, you are buying it through United Airlines. So you get all the backings of United, of United Airlines. You uh, buy your ticket from Victoria, you transfer, all your bags gets transferred in IAH and everything else is just easy from there. So we can say that you can fly from Victoria anywhere in the world where uh, United or, or its par partners fly. So you can fly from, I see actually um, quite a bit uh, people flying to Europe, people flying to Africa and other continents from Victoria. Oh, from here, from Victoria. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's easy. United.com will get you that, or if you download the app. So it's, it's a great service. It's a 50 passenger jet, um, which is pretty much what you see at other, other communities flying, um, you know, bringing you into the hub, in this case, IAH. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a great service. So it sounds like Victoria Airport has a big investment. The city is investing into the Victoria Airport. Actually, the county, but the, the county. city is. The county is the sponsor of the airport, but the city has 
uh, being a great partner of the airport and a great partner of the county in moving um, the airport forward. forward. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Lenny, thank you so much. That was very informational, and I appreciate that. Um, here's how you can learn more about the Victoria Regional Airport. You can call them at 361-578-2704, visit them at 609 Foster Field Drive, and or check out their full schedule at flightvictoriatexas.com. Thank you for joining us once again. Stay with us after the break. Coming up on Community Crossroads, we hear from the Quero ISD Education Foundation.